ora koutou katoa, no mai hara mai ki UFC on Sky Koravinda Hunia Aho. New Zealand flyweight Kai Kata France will be headlining UFC fight night this weekend when he faces Amir Albazi in Las Vegas and Kai joins us now from fight week. Kia ora kia koe Kai, welcome back to the show. Kia ora, uh, it's always nice to catch up and um, yeah, talk, talk everything about what's, what's about to happen. Absolutely, and it's very exciting indeed. Kai, you're going to be headlining your first UFC event. Start off by telling us what's the feel like, you know, on the Fenua in Las Vegas this week. Well, it's hot. You can see where I'm in a t-shirt, <laughs> uh, singlet. It's uh, yeah, it's really hot. It's like 36 degrees outside. So when you go for a run, you're uh, you're sweating straight away, and it's nice. It's nice change. Um, it just feels like at home. Uh, one thing that's you know, something that I've always done is pack my mouth guard in my carry-on just in case my bags don't arrive. And just just as I, uh, I guess, had a hunch, my bag didn't arrive. And, oh, no. Uh, th three days off, um, yeah, without it. So it finally arrived last night. So one thing I learned, all you need is a mouth guard. You know, all the hard work's done, um, and that's all you need to fight. So we just continue on like usual. So, uh, you know, that's something out of my control. I just train and, and do what I get in my routine like I usually do. Um, so yeah, it, it is. It's one of those things where it's like it had to be my my suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if there's one thing we've learnt about you, um, Kai, especially of late, is you with your clothing, your style, your sneakers, your your caps. Did you have any of that in the luggage? And if you did, <laughs> did the tummy drop? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was actually um, that was in my carry on as well. So it was just mostly training gear. That was the only thing in in my luggage. So uh, I had to go out and buy some stuff. But it, it's all. Um, for a good cause you know so you know it's just one of these things where i'm not too caught up in like the perfect perfect lead up it's not about that you know mm. you just got to adapt and um just make it work i've been, i've known that you know early on in my career when when the same things happened to me and um yeah just i was just like oh, yeah, i had a i had a feeling so yeah we just uh, carry on so it's been a great great vibe here in vegas um you know the, these guys pump out shows every week so um, to be headlining, you know, it's a, bit, a massive milestone. Um, Signing posters the other day, it just reminds me I'm exactly where I, I need to be and, and want to be, and that's fighting the best guys. That's you know, headlining cards, more people, more attention. Uh, but I welcome it. You know, I want I want to be here. I want to be doing this, um, and want to be getting back on track and, and fighting for world titles. Absolutely, and you know, you weren't headlining the event originally. This news came to you, you know, only a few weeks back. So things kind of, kind of changed. But how has you know that headline life kind of been? Because I imagine it would be much different to you know if you were positioned anywhere else on the card. Yeah. So when you um, take the main slot, um, the more obligations. So like today, thirty interviews from nine o'clock till now, fitting in my own trainings around that. So. Things that I'm used to, you know, I've done this before, fighting for a world title. My opponent hasn't, he hasn't done that. So that's something that will be a factor, you know, if he can block that out, not let it distract him. Um, for me, you know, it's just a part of it. I've I've been around and um, this will be my 11th UFC fight. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, relaxed and, and just taking it as it is. Um, it's awesome that the flyweights can be a headline, though. That That's what I love about this is the UFC trust me enough to put on exciting fights they trust me to deliver because mm -hmm. that's what i plan on doing on saturday they know i go for bit, uh, finishes they know i you know hunt bonuses and um you know I'm, I'm coming for him there and i know he wants to take my spot he's number seven i'm number three uh he's a contender on a four fight win streak he's got momentum he's been talking it up this week he's confident and once i get in there really in that first right hand the confidence will just drop and he'll realize oh yeah there's levels to this and yeah, on my level. Mm. Oh, when you put it that way, when you say, you know, 11 fights and your experience, it makes me think, well, it's about time you're headlining an event. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you want progression. You want to be always um, working towards something. Mm. And uh, even though I've had a bit of a layoff and time away, um, you know, we're, we're, still, we're still right there with the best guys. So that's all I'm thinking about. I'm going to go out there. Um, you know, show my worth, show why I deserve to uh, be back in the mix, back in the race um, in this flyweight division. So the best way to do that is to just get bad intentions, go go for the go for the kill, and 
represent New Zealand to the fullest, and that's all I know how. So um, I, I'm looking forward to it. You know, this will be my first fight debut in my Tamoko, so something that you know I've I've come in uh, with more protection, more guidance, more I guess I'm just more grounded, um, and it just reminds me that what I'm doing isn't by accident. This is all written. This is all by um, for a reason, and that that just makes allows me to make sense of it and. Um, I tap into that. I tap into that Maori warrior spirit, um, and uh, you'll be, you'll see that on Saturday. I love that. I love that you you know you've got this new tamoko and you can't wait to to show it off. Tell us a little bit about that. About you know what was the idea behind your tamoko and what you know that really means to you. Uh, yeah. So um, it's something that I've always known that I had to earn. It's not something that is um, just given out. Obviously, being Maori, it's your birthright, but. Um, yeah, as a as a man, you have to understand the reasoning and and the why, and that has to be, um, that that's the I guess key to knowing if you're ready or not. And for me, being thirty, on my journey, um, yeah, I was just ready to embrace my culture, embrace who I am um, as as being Maori, and that's my identity. You know, fighting is my career, but being Maori is is who I am even long after my career. So. Um, yeah, I'm proud to represent our culture and, and um, our people and now I get to do that by, you know, showcasing our, our uh, moko on the world stage and, and shout out to Lance Nata who um, did my tamoko, one uh, is from the same iwi as me, Nati Tufari Tō, so awesome that I can um, feel, I guess, never like it's never like I uh, didn't earn it, but um, now I'm ready, I'm ready to carry, I'm ready to represent and um yeah, just tap into that wider or tap into that mana um, and welcome on to Matonga, the, the god of war, and, and step into step into that light. I absolutely love that. And you know I love this kōrero when we, when we start talking about taha Māori. Um, yeah. But, you know, with tāmoko, you know, in a lot of ways people say, you know, your tāmoko finds you. And it kind of feels like, you know, the, the timing is perfect for you. And that it's also a representation of our tūpuna, our ancestors. So, you know, what does that mean to you to know that you're standing on the shoulders of giants? Yeah, this is just embedded in me. It's in my blood. You know, my, my um, whānau that have come before me, my whakapapa, my tūpuna, that just reminds me that um, I'm just doing what they would have done, you know, hundreds of years ago, navigating their way to Aotearoa and um, channeling all of that, all of that, um, I guess, wisdom, knowledge, and, and guidance. And um, you know, I'm just the modern day version of it. So, you know, just diving into my real journey now, and and um, obviously my son at Kohanga, Kohanga Reo, and and um, you know, have my my next baby on the way. It's it's the right time for me to um, embrace um, embrace where I've come from because that's going to know where I'm heading and where I'm heading is um, just focused, focused to, to be to, to be that best version of myself and yeah, it all starts Saturday. Um, that's why I'm excited. I'm excited to just showcase um, what I've been working on um, and, and tap into everything that I've learned along the way, all this experience, all this wisdom and um, yeah, just to everyone proud. Paito Kōrero Kai. Talking about, you know, people around you, your whānau, that also extends to your gym whānau. There's been some amazing things happening at CKB lately, and I know, you know, a lot of articles are around, you know, getting that motivation from Israel Adesonia, but man, you know, Carlos's KO, uh, Kevin Youssef becoming champ champ um, with the Hex Fight Series, and you got Dan to come, you got, you know, Shuriken Fighters and King in the Ring. There's such amazing things happening at CKB. How has that helped you fuel you and motivate you for this big title fight, oh, the title fight, headline fight? Yeah, it's just steamrolled all this, uh, I guess, contagious energy. People mm. coming back from fights, and you know, and you can see how much it meant to them and how much work they put into it. So it just reminds you, okay, just got to keep my head down and work towards my goals. Um, so, you know, I've been doing that for the last 12 weeks, um, seeing everyone come by uh, or come in and out of camp. And I, I've just been, you know, ticking, ticking off those boxes slowly. And every week I've been getting stronger. I've been getting faster. I've just been building. And before I knew it, I was fight ready. And that was a few weeks ago. And here we are now, fight week. Um, confidence is oozing. I'm just calm, collected and... Just more than ready to, um, yeah, just just do what we do at City Kickboxing, and that's fight the best in the world, and that's just go, to go out there and compete. I miss that, you know, these small wins that I've been doing in the gym, they make up for the the big wins that I'm about to do on Saturday. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go in there and and take everything. Um, not gonna leave anything uh, till chance, and 
yeah, it's, that's I take so much inspiration from you know, especially Izzy and what he's done because to be able to block out three losses and and still hold on to the hope that you can win against a guy that has um, always been the boogeyman of your career and and to do what he did and to, the way he did it, it just reminds me that it's all it's all possible. Um, so I got to stay stay um, stay focused on on what I set out to do and that's to be the flow world champion. So yeah, I'm excited to. Um, get that back on track on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Have you managed to get over to the Apex and, and have a little wander around and have a look at the Octagon and check it out? Uh, well, we train at the PI most days uh, around the same time we'll, as we'll be fighting. So um, that's been just my routine all week. Uh, uh, today we're down at the PI, um, sorry, at the Apex and, and seeing all the memorabilia that's there. Um, I didn't go in the cage, but I went past the, I guess, tough, ultimate fighter mm. memory lane and I, I saw my jersey that was there that I signed back in 2016 so pretty um you know crazy to think how fast time flies you know I was you know so early on in my career back then and and um to be a part of it that that um history and um to know that I'm still here still still uh, still fighting the best and um still representing New Zealand it's uh, yeah it's awesome that I, I get to be a part of history Absolutely, and still got such a long way to go. May I add? Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm still in, I'm still in my chat, uh, my career, and this is just another chapter. So, you know, people that have been watching me, people that have jumped on my journey after watching my doco, uh, breaking through to a new audience that don't necessarily watch fighting, mm. this will be their first time seeing me. So, um, yeah, that's that's something that kind of keeps me um, just pushing and striving to to um, you know let let them let them know that what I'm about, this is, they've just seen, you know, the, the out of camp Kai or, or the coach Kai coaching the Warriors or, or, um, you know, supporting teammates. But now I get to go in there and, and remind everyone, um, what I do for Mahi, what I do. And, um, that's, you know, go, go for knockouts and, and, uh, fight the best guys. Aye. Kapwai. Look, I know that you're concentrating on your fight, but I also know that you're very passionate about being the Warriors wrestling coach. They got a big game this weekend against the Dolphins yeah. at home. Did you impart any advice to them or did you give them any, you know, messages of Totoko before their game this weekend? So I left, when did I leave? I left on Sunday. So they, four, uh, they played in Napier the night before I left. Um, tough game against um, the Panthers. No, no, one's better. The Broncos. Broncos. Uh, yeah, tough game against the Broncos, and um, it's something that um, you know it's it's tough because the division of the competition is so close. But um, these games are all beatable. These games are all the boys could have done a few things differently, and they they would have got that win. So uh, it's all right there. Um, I feel like it's it's gonna find find uh, fine tune itself, and the Dolphins. Um, uh, before I left, you know, I went down to the gym with Izzy and we had a train and awesome for him to speak in front of the boys and, and um, Izzy to jump in and give them a look and, and wrestle with them. So that was pretty awesome. And just seeing the amount of love I get when I'm down there, you know, it's it's definitely a whanau and they um, gave me a, a tonga before I left. They gave me the Warriors Indigenous jersey uh, to take with me. So I've got it here in, in, um, in Vegas. So just little things like that and um, them sending a video to me with all the boys wishing me luck. So it's more than just, you know, me coaching. It's you definitely feel a part of something bigger. And um, just like at City Kickboxing, um, we're at Fano And um, now I've been watching them in their season, 10, 10 or 11 games in their season. I've been watching on the sidelines, you know, just cheering them on. And now they get to do it for me. So. Hey, what's up, Kai? Uh, on behalf of all the boys here, I uh, just want to wish you all the best. Uh, we're right behind you. Like you said, process driven, baby. Go get it. Let's go. Yeah! Yeah! That's the last thing I said to them. I said, we're ready to go in there, um, go into battle and, and um, show the world why um, what we do. And yeah, it was awesome to um, get that aroha and support. And um, yeah, and I uh, represent both now. Absolutely. Look, Kai, all the very best for this weekend, as well as the Warriors, as well as CKB supporting you. So too is Aotearoa, and we wish you nothing but the best for your war ahead this weekend. Thank you, um, everyone back home. Uh, I definitely feel the love and support. Uh, yeah, tune in Sunday. It's going down, and um, 
the black. Uh, we've got Kai Kata France. He's, you know, next on the roster to go uh, next weekend at the UFC Apex. Headlining that event against Amir Albazi. How has have, how have his preparations been going? Uh, Kai's, yeah, I mean, Kai's a customer professional, so um, he's done, yeah, his preparation's gone perfect. He's managed to stay uh, injury-free. And he, like all these guys, um, turns it up on that last, um, those last couple of weeks are the, the key, the key kind of time in their camp where they really start to flick the switch and you see them go to another level. So he's done that, his weight's down low, um, his preparation is um, near perfect. So um, well, I'm looking forward to an outstanding performance and an important performance for him both in the scheme of the landscape of the UFC but just mentally um, coming back from the title fight loss and why do you say that you know was there you know some I mean after a loss I mean you don't want to lose a fight like that of that magnitude I suppose but you know how because then he came back and he was injured and so he was nursing that for a little while as well so talk about that coming back because that would have been a big you know kind of trial for Kai knowing that you know that fight was the one yeah and just uh, I think we felt as a team that uh, Kai and I guess this, I guess you should feel this but we just found that he had the capabilities to win that fight. Like mm. he was well matched against Moreno and he kind of got caught. And even watching the fight, we felt that what we were trying to do with the fight, what we were trying to impose, um, we saw some really early evidence that um, that fight was starting to turn our way. And Given all that, it just makes it a little bit more devastating and mentally hard to come back from, given that um, those are some of the things that we saw. Afterwards, he got a back injury, um, which is difficult because Kai's a person that doesn't like to be inactive, so mm-hmm. he, <laughs> he had to deal with that. But I also think that that's part of, it's, it's part and parcel of him just evolving as a person, having to deal with that adversity having to understand that he might need to occupy himself with something else other than um, this great sport he loves so much. And he was able to explore other opportunities that he has. And obviously, and and the other benefit is he gets to spend a bit more time with his family. So I feel like he bounced back from that injury quite well. I think the much harder thing to deal with was just knowing that he came, he was so close to that title um, and it just eluded him. And um, hopefully he's just using that as motivation now to get back to that lofty position again and put himself um, in a position to fight for the title again. It's awesome to be back eh, uh, in Vegas. And um, it's been a bit of a a layoff, but was out of my control. Uh, A little back injury kind of kept me from, I guess, training and it was one of the things that I neglected in my career, just investing back into my body and, and um, you know, mobility, stretching, until it pretty much humbled me until I couldn't do anything. So I had to rest for about two two months and then could slowly build again. So great thing about um, being where I'm at in my career, I could kind of give a time frame of when I wanted to fight and uh, it all came about perfectly. So I'm glad to be here. You know, it's been a great camp, 12 weeks we've built, um, been building for this date. So... Yeah, I'm ready to get in there and, and um, remind everyone why I'm the best flyer in the world. It was awesome to be in Perth uh, in, in Australia as a guest fighter and seeing all the fans and seeing how excited they were to have UFC events back in our side of the world. So um, they're coming back in s- September. So I'm not looking past, obviously, this weekend, but it's great that the UFC are um, coming back to that side of the world. Yeah, there's a lot of positives that we could take away from that last fight where it just showed we're right there with the best guys. Um, you know, if we went back that night and um, things went a bit differently. I could be here for the belt now. It's just what happens at the the highest level of sport. Um, that's just how it is as a game of inches. So, um, you yeah, know, we've taken away positives. We've worked on stuff that we need to. Um, and I, I left that in the cage. I didn't take it with me. Uh, I've been a person to just go again. Uh, like that's my whole career. I just keep turning up for myself and we keep building and, and um, progression. So. 
you know, I've taken losses uh, before and I know how to build myself back up. So I'm looking forward to, um, I guess, reminding everyone and, and um, showing why, why uh, I deserve to have the next or have another title shot. Amir was the guy that was closest to my ranking and the available. So, you know, these contenders that are on win streaks, momentum, hype, they want to take my spot on number three and I welcome it. I want I want to fight the best guys. So, um, yeah, he's a, he's a great fighter. You know, he's a great grappler, great wrestler, um, got momentum, but I'm here to take all that. I'm here to um, show him that there's levels to this and, and that's what I'm going to be doing on Saturday. Like, uh, I'm not going to overlook anyone and a fight's a fight and i got to respect the sport and I'm just here to compete. I'm here to compete against the best. And um, it just happened to work out that the main event for this fight fell through. And then Mick said, do you want it? And I said, of course. I'm here to um, obviously make more money and, and uh, more eyes on us. So it's great that the flyweight division are having a, a, a main event slot because, you know, it's one, one of the most exciting uh, divisions in this in the UFC. And, and it's awesome that the UFC trusts me to, to be able to deliver. They know that I come for finishes. I come for knockouts. And I'm always in exciting fights, so it's nice that um, yeah, the UFC see that and uh, I get to go do that Saturday. Saturday night, me and Amir get to square off. I get to challenge myself against you know, a, a, a challenger that's got momentum and that will be uh, just, that will put me where I need to be. So that's all, my, all I'm focused on. I'm not gonna overlook anyone. I've, I've had opponents that overlooked me because they didn't think I was worthy enough, but I gotta respect uh, Amir respect the sport and I know that a fight's a fight so he'll realize that when I land my first right hand and, and um, yeah it's, it's going to be a bad night just feels like uh, another fight to me it's main event so I get two extra round to finish Kai even better for me I've been training with uh, JP Buys uh, a lot of different training partners at Extreme Couture Javed, Farid, I have my coaches, uh, Dewey Cooper. I also have my coach back home, Professor X. So I have everything I need. I don't need anything more. I'm ready to go. Uh, what do you think about Kai as an opponent? How, how challenging has it been to prepare for him? He's a good opponent. Of course, he's number three. But I'm, I'm here. I'm the next, next champion for the title. So whoever they want to put in front of me, I'll be ready. It's a lot of people that say that. They see my like, track record in the UFC and they see names here and there. They're like, how can he jump to Kaikara France straight away? I've been trying to fight these guys after every fight. I've been trying to get a ranked opponent. I've been calling these guys out. I was booked against Alex Perez. He didn't make it, of course. And then I was booked at Brandon Royval. He got injured too. So I've been trying to fight these top guys. So when I got Kai, now I'm happy. We're all finally here during fight week. And I'm going to show people why I'm the next champion. I don't need to do a call out. After this fight, they're going to know I'm next. I know I'm next. I want to fight in Abu Dhabi for the title. I'm going to finish Kai this Saturday night. And then I'm going to see how it plays out with Pantoja Moreno. Either one may the best man win. And I'm next in Abu Dhabi. To be honest, even if I try to do five rounds, I'm a finisher. I know I'm a finisher, and my track record speaks for itself. I finished almost all my opponents, so even if I try to keep it for five rounds, I'm gonna finish the fight. And Fano, if you don't have Sky to watch the fights this weekend, we have you covered. Sky Sport now are offering a $5 voucher when you purchase a week plan. Just use the code don't blink. Kai Kata France in action this weekend on Sunday against Amir Al Bazi, headlining UFC Fight Night or the action live on ESPN from the UFC Apex in Las Vegas. Matewa. The UFC is back with top 10 ranked flyweights. Former title challenger Kai Kara France is on the hunt for his 15th career finish by stopping the dangerous Iraqi standout Amir al -Bazi. Undefeated in the UFC and looking to propel himself into title contention. Plus, a full card of can't-miss action. Don't miss UFC Fight Night on ESPN and ESPN+. Plus.